Hi, I'm Peter Knight, one of the Ban Lynch coaches here at Yarra Bend Golf Course. In today's Week in Golf tip, what I'm going to do is show you a drill that's it's a bit challenging, but it's going to help your chipping enormously. One of the things that I hear a lot about players who are looking to make really good contact with their chipping is that they need to accelerate the club through impact, and that can lead to all sorts of problems with the chipping. If we consider a pendulum, and if I let go with my right hand here, as the club swings to the bottom of its swing, it's gaining pace, it's accelerating, which is very different to me doing that with it. And that's essentially the difference between a good chipping action and a poor chipping action. Let me explain. If I hold the club with my left arm, and let the club swing back, and then just let it fall exactly the same as I did with my chipping, I haven't added anything to the stroke. I haven't tried to use my hand to flick the club head through. I haven't pulled my arm through. All I've done is allowed my arm and the club to fall and my body to turn with it. So that's the left arm, single arm practice drill. And if I do that with a shot and I allow everything to turn in sequence, then I'll strike the ball with good contact and actually have pretty good control of it. If you find you, that drill is very challenging, then it's actually a good one for you. Now we're going to do the same thing with the right arm. By same thing, I mean we're not going to add anything. Most of you watching this, just because of the proportion of population, are going to be right-handed. Because you're right-handed, you're going to feel like you can control the club much more with this side of your body. Don't want to do that with chipping though. When you swing the club back and through, when I get to here, my right wrist is bent, my right elbow is bent, and all I'm going to do is use my body to transport my arm and the club through impact. So I'm not adding anything with my hand, I'm not doing anything with my arm, and I'm definitely not keeping my body still. So from here, I can make that drill, just let my body turn back and through, and then turn through, and I'll make pretty good contact. Now notice when I get to the end of the swing, the club is still hanging off my wrist here, and my elbow is still bent, so there's been no flicking with the stroke whatsoever. Practice those drills both one-armed left arm, one-armed right arm, and if you find that you can do them well, well, you're probably already a pretty good chipper. If you find that you struggle with either arm or perhaps even both arms, then add that to your arsenal of practice drills and you'll find that your chipping will improve. It should improve immediately, especially if you're doing the drills just exactly as I've explained them.